Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new here or not yet subscribed, please consider doing so so you can catch my videos every Sunday. In this week's video, we are building one of these things behind me. Basically, I was on YouTube Shorts because I don't have TikTok and I saw this girl building this amazing tiny greenhouse. I love Ikea hacks, I love little hacks like this, so they always come up recommended for me, and I thought this was perfect as I recently decided to get a ton of plants. So I was gonna use it for my high humidity plants and also some of my propagation stuff. So you may be wondering, Rose, why would you be building one when you already have one? Well, the lid on this one doesn't exactly seal. So the whole premise is you create this box that seals so the humidity stays really high in it. But the hinges on this one are a little misaligned so it doesn't fully shut. So the humidity stays around 50 when it's supposed to be about 80. So we're gonna try again. I got some new supplies, so we'll see how this round goes. But I will be using the humidity gauge and the lights from in there. So I only have stuff to seal and then a new greenhouse to sort of put together. Also, if you think you're a little bit on an angle, um, I just really hung up these pictures crooked and also our floors are slightly tilted to begin with. So um, I tried to make it as level as possible, but I obviously did not succeed. Lots of packaging. This is the product that I got. I got the smaller one and I got it in white. It also comes in black. Okay, this top one is the crucial piece that needs to be straight. Not all the way down, but you can see the full circle. And then down here, you can see that, like there's room for it to move up, but nothing to catch it. Then over here, you can see it's all the way down. You can kind of see the circle, part of it's blocked. There is like no more down space for it to go because these two pieces are running into each other. I mean, it's definitely more even than before. But like, it's still... I guess I'll just do it, see if I can seal it better. Things I have to seal this. From the video, I still have this. It's like a sticky on one side, flappy on the other. I think it's for like edges of rugs. Um, some of this squishy insulated. I think this is for windows. And then I have carpet tape. I just had this. It's white, so I feel like it could help. Maybe with like sealing the bottom of this instead of trying to shove foam in there like the other one. I'm just gonna show you what I end up doing at the end because this is gonna be some trial and error. I think I got it pretty well sealed. I ended up doing mostly carpet tape. So I've created a piece of carpet tape along the door here up front. This, um, this one, this seal, I don't know what this one is, put on the top of the door. And then I actually taped almost the entirety of the bottom in carpet tape on the inside. So the only gap left is this side panel on the door. The greenhouse is basically done. I think now that's all left to do is leave it and see how it handles. I'll probably check back in a few days and see how it's holding up. It is now a few days later. I apologize if you can hear the dishwasher. It is very loud, but I wanted to record this. So two things happened while I was gone. Uh, first, these seam sealant, this one, fell off the entirety of the top. All three pieces fell off. So um, I'm just gonna Gorilla Glue them on today. So uh, to really seal them on there and make sure the whole greenhouse stays nice and sealed. The other thing that uh, happened was these are not really sticking well. These are the lights. 
Uh, since I took them off the old greenhouse, some of the old adhesive is stuck on here and they're not really sticking well to the new house. So I'm gonna use some Velcro command hooks now instead of the normal hanging things to uh, see how that works and to really seal it up. So these plants will be doing good, bamboo. Oh my gosh, this guy is not happy. Look at how sad this leaf is. Glue these strips back onto where they were. I think this long one was in the middle. Yeah. Let me get the, oh God, I just got dirt on it. No! Uh-oh, guys. Operation is not successful so far. It is all over my fingers. <laughs> so that's what I mean. It's like so sticky. Let me see if I can find a clip. Oh, that clip works. Oh, I have more of those, okay. Oh, it is actually sticking, okay. Now let me show you my fingers. Like that is what happens. Oh, my Hagrid hair is coming out. Eehee, sorry. Okay. Now that those are on. Okay, those are actually the same length. Well, let's see how this did. Oh my gosh, I like can't feel the tips of my fingers. But it's fine. The sandwich method works pretty good. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'll see you when it's all put back together for her final thoughts and review. <laughs> so just a quick review of this project. It isn't as straightforward as it initially seems as putting together this greenhouse can get a little bit wonky with how easily the metal is bent. It also requires a lot more sealing than you would initially anticipate as well as figuring out what to do with the lights. But for right now, it's all figured out. And if you wanna try this hack, I would highly recommend it, especially if you wanna get your plants into some small spaces, just be ready to make some adjustments along the way. I'll probably post an update in about a month or so, probably in a short form. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And if this video wasn't your cup of tea, maybe the next one will be. So stick around to find out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.